Hey y'all! So I just finished my freshman year and I wanted to share with you guys my pieces so this will be like a speed run. I will only be showing you the pieces that I did like because not everything I did was good. So here we go! I'm gonna go in chronological order and start from my first semester and then winter session and then second semester, spring semester, however you call it. So the first piece I'm talking about is from my design class this plant project that we had to draw a hundred plants in a hundred different ways and then afterwards we would combine it into one garden drawing so these were the plants and this was the final garden piece it was very abstract there's nothing that i could say about it it was just watercolor there was a shadow piece where we tried to create um paper modules and we used light to manipulate and create abstract photography. This one was kind of fun, but there's nothing more to it I can say besides that. And the, our final for that design class, again, I skipped some of the pieces, but for our final was to create a work inspired by a sound. But the sound I had that inspired me, I think was from uh, the beginning of Happy Now by Zed and featuring someone else, um, the full title of the song is here and so i created this big uh abstract piece we also had like tiny um sketches to you know jot down our ideas and our color palette but yeah that was our final and that's design for spring uh for fall semester that was design i really like my drawing class in uh first semester as well as the second semester i just kind of focused more on drawing you'll figure that out later my first piece from drawing that my teacher really liked was called coalescing forces it's like this huge um, circle abstract drawing. The idea of the project was to use something from the RISD Nature Lab and create a composition using it. It doesn't necessarily have to be recognizable. These are seashells and I tried to make a spiral into each other. I focused a lot on the movement and the texture of the pieces. Right after that, our next project was more related to animals. So we first started the assignment by going to the Nature Lab to study um, animal bones. These are my animal bone drawings done in charcoal. Then we got to go to the zoo to continue the next part of our project. When we got to the zoo, we would have our big sketch pads and we would be um, watching animals and drawing live. I actually have some uh, sketchbook pieces that are from the live drawings of animals here. And so we like watched animals and we drew them. But then we also had to do some charcoal compositions. I was looking at camels. But then for the final piece that came out of that project, um, I chose to draw horses instead, so this is my piece called uh, Gallop. My teacher didn't particularly like it because I didn't really get the proportions or the anatomy of the horses that well, so... But it doesn't matter, like, I, th I thought it looked fine, but I don't know. Continuing the skeleton part of our project, uh, we did master copies. So some people chose uh, Leonardo da Vinci, um, and other people chose Michelangelo. I chose to do a more contemporary artist called Alan Williams, and this is his Instagram handle. He drew an illustration for Ophelia in the font and I thought it was really pretty. So I asked my teacher if I could do a master copy of something that's not necessarily human. So like this humanoid fawn figure. And she was like, yeah. She wanted us to draw the skeleton of the creature on a piece of, uh, what's it called? Transfer paper. When the transfer paper went on top of the master copy, you could see the the skeleton being of the figure underneath. So it was like a practice of anatomy. I found goat legs and I use that as reference for anatomy. I think he even liked the post on Instagram, if I recall. Yeah, I think he liked the post on Instagram, so he noticed me, haha. <laughs> we had to draw our room, like a part of our room in charcoal for one of our pieces. Like we were trying to do perspective in space. So I drew my desk in charcoal. My teacher could tell that I drew from a photograph so I didn't draw the whole thing from a photograph but especially the pencils she could tell I drew from a photograph because they were so detailed and she was like I don't know if you could get that much detail from looking at it in person like that I think I mentioned before in, my, in the past about um, teachers being able to tell if you draw from a photograph so yeah she could tell that I drew from a photograph and so I was busted and our final project was a self-portrait. It was an e expressive self-portrait. So I drew myself in like a cyberpunk theme. I thought it was really cool um, because I've always really liked the cyberpunk aesthetic. So I drew myself like kind of like a human cyborg. I called it um, Digital Reflection. 
chef's kiss. <laughs> this was our final project, so I like took a lot of time, but because it was finals before Thanksgiving, halfway through the project, I went to, to um, New York City with my friends. So I left the drawing sitting in the North Hall workroom for a while. It was very nerve wracking because I was leaving my project behind. I couldn't bring it to my room because it was like charcoal. So I, and me and Audrey agreed that our room was a charcoal free zone so i couldn't bring my work up there so i prayed to god that nobody touched my piece and it was fine so when i came back i continued working on the piece and yeah now i'm going to talk about my spatial pieces spatial was not my strongest was never my strongest and never will be my strongest course the only piece that i think is worth showing is my final which was a lamp we had to create a light fixture i was inspired by moroccan lamps so I designed the patterns on the faces of the lamp um, on my computer and then I put it into Illustrator, created it out of the laser cutter so I cut it out on I think quarter inch wood and then I pieced it all together, the hexagons and the squares and I created this spherical hanging light fixture. It was very pretty. The thing is I don't think my light bulb was dim enough it was like too bright so it couldn't project the patterns like my idea was that it would project the patterns like this but i don't think that that was what happened because a the lamp was too small and b light bulb was too bright so that didn't happen the way i wanted it to but it made pretty good photos so i was happy about that finals wrapped up for um fall semester and we moved into winter break so i had winter break i went home for a week and a half or so and celebrated New Year's and Christmas with my family. After the fall semester, we have winter session and then winter session comes spring semester. Winter session, you can treat it like a boot camp, not really. It's like a marathon where um, you pick a course or a major that's not particularly yours and you kind of try it out for six weeks. This is a very poor description of it, but I chose jewelry. So the first project I did was this ring. I had copper around and then I had to it's 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 a lot to describe it was one of the most painful experiences i've ever been through like sanding in and of itself took off half of my lifespan because i was just constantly sanding at like 200 grit 180 grit and just so many different grits of sandpaper up until like 800 grit just so i could get it smooth and shiny and then i had to put it in like the liver of sulfur and make it black and oh it was a it was an experience after the ring I had to do a brooch, which was more fun to do. It was like a personality thing. It was like wear yourself. So we had to um, create a brooch that went with our identity. I chose my last name, which is Lynn. It's cut out of brass. And then behind it in like that hollow case was this like piece of wood that I painted like bark because I didn't want to actually go get a found object of bark because bark at that time it was like winter it was like all slimy and gross so underneath the brooch is a piece of wood and then I had the pin stem wire curled so it's like a hanging brooch that also had a lot of technical difficulties jewelry is hard it's a, one of the hardest um courses to get into for winter session so I took advantage of that in my freshman year but I sucked our final project we created something that was wearable it could be anything so i chose a necklace the project also states that you have to be able to carry something in that wearable piece of jewelry the charm on the necklace was like a case for bobby pins because i always lose my bobby pins girls you would know or guys with long hair you would know the negative space and the carvings around the necklace charm were like fish so it was pretty interesting i really like this project my teachers also really like this project they like nearly gave me perfect on this and the comments underneath it for the final were like we saw how much you struggled <laughs> and we're very happy to see your growth so that's why jewelry is a great experience as much as i would never do it again <laughs> during winter session i think was one of the chillest parts of my semester i proceeded to go to new york once again with another group of friends and that was very fun i was slacking off i was just you know because the jewelry got pretty um stressful like some people who chose i guess um other majors to try out for winter session had like a better time obviously everybody had work to do but i was pretty sure that jewelry was one of the harder ones for winter session i also went to boston for um, a concert i went with audrey to go see hands like houses i actually got this sticker right here 
Yeah, they're like one of my favorite bands, so I was very happy I got to go. Like, I actually recognized like most of the songs. Bro, I was so happy. So I was very grateful that Audrey went with me. Otherwise, I wouldn't have gone to Boston alone. And then spring semester came, and that's when things started spiraling because of the coronavirus. Am I allowed to say that? Anyway, I'm gonna talk about my pieces. So in Spatial, uh, I had a lot of fun creating um, our first two pieces. The paper world was like a cube that we like, I'm, I created a paper cube that was like interactive so people could like, you know, build the puzzle. You know those like erasers back when we were in elementary school that were like puzzles? Yeah, those ones. So I was inspired by that. I think it was too easy though because people solved it like really quickly. And then we learned how to sew for um, one of our projects. And that was interesting too because Audrey taught me how to use a sewing machine. And I made this dress. I thought it was really cute. It was like this prairie girl vibe. I was very happy about it. And yeah, I learned how to sew. This is Dway trying it on. <laughs> I had design. We created three projects, I think, as well, because our teacher was pretty like flexible when it came to like time schedule. She gave us a lot of time to literally think about our concepts. The first one, I didn't get a good crit on, but I created like this huge compass that was meant for two people to use. I kind of misunderstood the project, so I didn't do so well on it, but like, it's whatever. I thought it was cool. This is Liberty trying the compass. Our second project actually started at home, which was when we were sent home for the virus. Basically, our teacher wanted to see how the pandemic is affecting our community, so we created like a documentary. I had like a lot of footage and we created this um, three to five minute long documentary about our life. It could be about something social or it could be about our personal lives. And our final, she also gave us a lot of time to work on, was um, create a public engaging work of art. So it could be like a sculpture, a monument, and I created a food truck. I tried using Fusion 360 for the first time ever. I'm not really good at 3D modeling. So this is my first ever 3D modeling experience. And honestly, it's not that bad. At least I don't think it's that bad. So it's like a food truck vending machine that brings around to different communities Chinese baked goods. My teacher really liked it. She was like, yeah, this brings communities together. I was like, yeah, it really does. And it makes me happy. And she was like, it's great that you're doing something that makes you passionate. I was like, yeah, I love Chinese bakeries. I just want to make a movable one. A mobile Chinese bakery. Oh, it's so good. So for drawing again, I really like drawing this semester. And one of my favorite pieces that I want to show is this watercolor painting of my bedroom. The assignment was to draw a part of your bedroom, but also find a way to implement yourself. So I drew myself reflected in Audrey's mirror. It doesn't really look like me, but I tried. <laughs> our next assignment was done at home. We had to create a collaborative map with our group. Our groups were assigned based on time zones mostly. So my group created like an island country. We each created our own islands and then I put it into Photoshop and combined it with like the ocean. So it looked like a cohesive map. Obviously we had different styles, but I think that our different styles came out pretty well too as a whole. And our last project was the charcoal animation. We had four weeks to do this. I implore you guys to watch the video because I did spend a lot of time on it, especially sound design. It's up on my Instagram as well, but I recommend watching on YouTube because Instagram has that weird cropping thing, so it kind of cuts off some details. So I think that wraps up my first year at RISD. These are all the pieces that I thought were worth showing. And if you guys have any questions, Regarding my experience, I do want to um, preface and give a disclaimer that I think I had an easy year because the teachers I had weren't infamous for being, you know, mean or gave a lot of work. So I don't think my workload was insane. I had a very balanced social life and I had a lot of fun. So I can't say the same for everybody else's experience, but I think I managed it pretty well. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, any thoughts or comments, please leave it down below and check out my other social media and stay tuned for more videos in the future because I'm going to try to post more often this summer. And yeah, bye!